watching Idaho's News Channel 7. This is the News at 6. Increasing semiconductor production is important for not only our economic security, but also our national security. And now that production can happen even easier here at home. Idaho-based Micron Technologies is expanding here in Boise. Today, Micron announced it will build a new $15 billion fabrication plant in Boise. This will be the first new memory fab plant built in the U.S. in two decades. The tech giant is also teaming up with the College of Western Idaho to help better transition students into Idaho's workforce. We have team coverage today on Micron's announcement. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley spoke to CWI about the new partnership. But we begin with Shira Matsuzawa with what's behind this big decision and what this means for our community. Shira? Well, Doug, this announcement is not only big news here in the Gem State, but it's also getting national attention from the president himself. President Joe Biden tweeted Thursday morning, this is another big win for America. The this he's referring to? Boise-based Micron Technologies' big announcement that it plans to build a new fabrication plant for leading-edge memory manufacturing in the city of Trees. It's a $15 billion investment and will be the first of its kind built in the United States in 20 years. Under President Biden's leadership, American manufacturing is back. And this new announcement from Micron is going to add an additional 17,000 jobs over the next decade. Micron's groundbreaking announcement comes 23 days after President Biden signed into law the Chips and Science Act. The new law provides incentives for semiconductor manufacturing in the U.S. Legislation, Micron says, was needed in order to expand in the U.S. rather than Asia. KTVB spoke with Assistant White House Press Secretary Emily Simons. We are creating a roadmap for how we're going to implement this bill. We're investing $52 billion uh, to help with uh, manufacturing investments. And the CEO of Micron credited the Biden administration for our legislation in really being the catalyst for them to make this investment in Boise. She adds this investment is not only good for the economy, but also national security. The pandemic exposed serious vulnerabilities and weaknesses in our supply chains, especially our semiconductor supply chains. Cars and dishwashers and phones were all affected by a lack of semiconductor chips. Increasing semiconductor production is important for not only our economic security, but also our national security. For example, the javelins that we've been sending to Ukraine to help them fight against the Russians, those javelins require semiconductor chips. So the more that we can create those here at home, the better protected we'll be. Idaho Governor Brad Little also tweeted Thursday that it's wonderful to see the tremendous success of a homegrown Idaho company. Boise Mayor Lauren McLean echoing the excitement, adding, this is a once in a generation investment in Boise from a homegrown company that is critical to the economic vitality of our community, our state, and our nation. And Micron employs more than 6,000 people in Boise. This new fab would create 17,000 American jobs, including 2,000 direct Micron jobs by the end of the decade. But another key part of this is a partnership with the College of Western Idaho. KTV's Jude Binkley visited CWI hours after today's announcement. Jude, what do they have to say? Well, Shira, part of Micron's $15 billion investment includes a partnership with the College of Western Idaho, and the school was named a core education partner. The goals of the partnership are to deliver key curriculum like advanced mechatronics engineering technology, support a Micron company apprenticeship program, and prepare students for jobs in smart technology all revolving around getting students valuable hands-on experience. You not only know, but you can do. And the Micron Apprenticeship Program is gonna be a program that has CWI students finishing time under the tutorial, the apprenticing, doing in a controlled environment with Micron that will allow them to come out job ready, earning good wages from the beginning. Micron's $15 billion investment in a new fabrication plant for memory manufacturing is the largest private investment ever made in Idaho. It'll create more than 17,000 new jobs, with 2,000 of them being direct Micron jobs. 98% of the College of Western Idaho students come from right here in the Treasure Valley, and there, we have a responsibility to make sure there's jobs here too. And so that's where this partnership is special, because these students will be able to go from CWI right to an employer like Micron. 
Micron also pledged to expand investments for K-12 STEM education programs and focus on reaching underrepresented and rural student populations. Mechatronics, a field that combines mechanics and electronics and is used in nearly every industry, is one of the main programs that will be impacted by this partnership. We see our students as needing those kinds of technical skills. Again, not everybody has to be designing robots or high tech or silicone production jobs, but they can be technicians that work with that and appreciate the kind of value that Idaho is bringing to the world. Now, Gordon told me that more info is to come on this partnership and the programs in it. And with so many of CWI students being local, a big goal of today's announcement is to educate and empower and, hey, keep that tech growth coming to Treasure Valley. Yeah, definitely, Judy. You know, there are many layers to this announcement. We'll be exploring those over the days and weeks to come. So thank you very much.